we set up a high line, we have two ends to the high line. The one usually that has this knot we're going to talk about is on the far side or the harder side to get to. And by using this high strength hitch, when we're done, we can undo the whole system just by releasing this. So a high strength hitch basically goes around your tree at least three complete times. And then you finish it off with a figure eight on a bite and just clip the carabiner to the rope. So basically the tension in here creates friction that holds us in place and allows us to release it when we're finished. Now once we have the high strength hitch on the far side, then we need to have a method to tension over here. So we're going to use a three to one mechanical advantage. So we start with standard wrap three, pull two for our anchor around the tree, put a carabine on it, and we're going to take one pulley and connect this into the rope and connect that to the carabiner. Now we can save ourselves some time if we put one of our crucic hitches on now to hold any gain we make in the rope. Remember we need two of these eventually to be able to back up the system if everything fails. So we don't have to keep walking it back with the system. We can just put this right on here now. Okay. And I'm going to put a separate carabiner to it so it's different than the pulley. So I'm just going to move it over one. Okay, so we have this Prusik hitch that's capturing our rope as we take it in, and we have our first pulley. So the next thing we need to do get our second pulley, we come down here, we have a Prusik hitch here, we put the rope through, we're basically now just building our three to one mechanical advantage, in there, connect into that Prusik, and we just come back in, now we've basically got the capability to tension this, we just want to put our second Prusik hitch on here so that we can back up if anything were to fail. Make sure we dress this hitch out correctly. Attach it to our anchor. So now we have our three to one pulley system, mechanical advantage. We have our tandem Prusix holding in case anything were to fail. Now all we need to do is pre-tension the high line. And when we pre-tension, we want to pre-tension to a two to one normally. Since we already have this set up as a three to one, we're just going to want to barely pull on this with our arms. We don't want to use any body pulling anytime we're using a high line tensioning. So in the pre-tension, we're just going to give it a light pull with our two hands and then just slide these out to catch. And now this is our high line and it's been pre-tensioned.